Evelyn. Evelyn? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just looking at the pictures, Missy. They have the greatest stories in that magazine, don't they? And well, I see you in group tonight. We'll be talking about masturbation. Oh, no, I don't think so. I think I had enough learning for the time being. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Screw you. Bitch. Why are you being so mean to me? What did I ever do to you? I don't understand. Look at my stove top. If I here all day. If I can show somebody that they're traveling, traveling wrong, <laughs> my baby shall die, who is so not Excuse me, uh, I was waiting for that space. Yeah? Tough. Face it, lady, we're younger and faster. <laughs> to Wanda. like Frank Bennett and machine gun their genitals <laughs> to Wanda go on the rampage. I'll put tiny little bombs in Penthouse and Playboy so they'll explode when you open them. And I'll ban all fashion models. I'll weigh less than 130 pounds. <laughs> and I'll give half the military budget to people over 65 and declare wrinkles sexually desirable. To Wanda, writer of wrongs, queen beyond compare. How many of them hormones you taking, honey? Tawanda! in the hell are you doing? I need some light and air. Well, why don't you step outside and take one of your walks or your jog or whatever it is you do? 
And there's no dinner either. Ed, you have any idea why I've been going to all these classes? No. I've been trying to save our marriage. What's the point of my trying if you're going to just sit on your butt drinking beer and watching baseball, basketball, football, bowling, and hockey, and golf, and challenge of the gladiators? Ed, hmm. you remember how you used to tell me you always wanted two women in your house? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, what if I was the younger of the two? I don't believe I get your drift. <laughs> I want something more than I've ever wanted anything before. I want to bring Mrs. Threadgood to our home. I want her to live here with us. I want to give her the love she's given me. <laughs> You're kidding me, aren't you? I'm absolutely serious. That's why I'm putting the wall to Cal's room back up. Well, honey, this isn't something you're just going to do. I mean, she's an old woman. What if she got sick or something? I mean, who who's going to take care of her? I will. I can't leave her in that place. She's not a... Stray cat or something else. She isn't even family. She's family to me. Oh, Evelyn. Evelyn. Honey. Uh, look. H have you mentioned this harebrained idea of yours to her? Not yet. Well, good. Then we'll just pretend it never happened. Well, I'm making my own money now. I'll pay for everything. You don't have to do a thing. Evelyn, it's never going to happen, so just forget about it. Don't you ever say never to me. Someone helped put a mirror up in front of my face, and I didn't like what I saw one bit. And you know what I did? I changed. And that someone was Mrs. Threadgood. She needs my love and care now, and I'm going to give it to her. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the gym. And if you won't listen to reason, there's always Tawanda. 